we want to show you uh, this torch. It just came in from a home uh, customer of ours. He wants us to overhaul it. And I'm going to point out how horrible this machine is. Steven, what do you think? I think we should roll the whole thing black. Good, good. And then that, that'll be it. Do you think we should push it off the building? Definitely. Wow, look, look, look at this. Somebody, he's even put Bally flippers in, not even the original flipper boots. What a mess. He said this was in their house, in their private collection for many years. And it must have been many years considering the rubber is a little loose there, huh? Steven, are you going to be able to restore this? I'm going to do my best. We'll see. It's missing everything right here in the middle. And the colors are all dim and ugly. The plastics are ugly. God, th th this is one ugly machine. Yeah, and it is completely beat oh, up. Oh, yeah. Look, look at this. Holes, gouges. Oh, look, it's, it's got ugly. the uh, breakthrough plate on it. Uh, this machine was owned by Stan Harris in Philadelphia because it's got this metal plate to prevent you from digging into the machine. Plus, look at these, uh, these original uh, scorecards. For some reason, we never understood why, he would, when he bought these machines new, the Stan Harris Company, he would take the original cords out and they would hand type these on an old fashioned typewriter. See, T, um, the O, R, C, H, see how he has the, um, what is that? Spacing. Equal sign. It's actually an equal sign in between. He would retype them. We don't know why he would do this, but he would do that with every game that was on his route. He never used the original scorecards, never figured it out. But it was always easy to tell. What about this back glass, Stephen? It's ugly. Oh boy. Oh, gee, God. I don't know what we're going to be able to do with that. You can see the old light bulbs here and all this ugly black stuff, so we're going to have to polish them. Obviously, we're going to put uh, LEDs up here. We're going to take them all out. That'll be part of the overhaul. Uh, but, Stephen, what do you think? A half an hour? Uh, I'd say about a week. <laughs> Ah, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do some before and after. So, Frank, come down here. We're going to do some before and after for our folks. Before. After. Okay, good. Now come over here. Before. After. And the other side. Before. She's a butte, Clark. Try to avoid my stomach. That's unavoidable. Look that. Ooh. <laughs> look, I like it. Oh, look. That'll buff right out. It'll buff right out, yeah. We should drop this off the building. After. I already started doing the outline here, just filled in the black where things go so that I can start painting. I've done some purple, started painting the purple. I see the uh, top on. of the field got cleaned and polished and new rubbers already. Yep. And then the jewels that were loose came out and then the, so they can get re-glued in. Clean them and then we'll glue them in. I just wanted to get the outline. It's coming along. He's using a, a print so he can match colors and seeing how it's supposed to look. You'll remember that a lot of the uh, space was bare wood. He's now painting yellow. As you can see, it's really coming along. He's matched the colors in up here. He's blending in, all working off that picture. We already see we've changed the flipper boots on the surface, but we got a fried coil here. We had a lot of stuff underneath the play field. We'll show you shortly. Now, as you can see, there's quite an improvement. And uh, Stephen's going to freehand the numbers in. I think it'll look just fine. Underneath the solar ride, we have new drop targets. <laughs> Try again. Wrong, wrong game? Wrong game. <laughs> Here we are underneath the torch, torch. and 
we have brand new plunges and links and sleeves and coils and then the stroke switches that'll make these uh, nice and fast of course new light bulbs new drop targets and now we're going to move on to cleaning the roto wheel okay with the wheel off what we're going to do is we're going to show you that with a fiberglass eraser we burnish all of these connectors to get them nice and bright again these fiberglass erasers are great you can get them from the eraser company in new york they're not cheap they're about 25 bucks and the refills are three bucks each but boy do they clean these contacts and once you clean them they're pretty much done for good we're also going to fiberglass these parts here this will give a nice good connection and of course we'll squirt some uh, contact cleaner in that too for good measure uh, we're going to clean these targets next Stephen is now working on the purple after he's bondoed all the rough areas as you can see the blue color shows the rough areas he's mixed the exact color you can see the purple just the purple has been done we still have to do the orange and yellow but you can see all the bondo points that he had to hit now this is coming along nice the surface of the play field is finished now on this side you can see how he's prepared it by sanding off all the bad spots and areas on the machine okay the next part is to take all the bulbs out we're going to clean this surface here and notice we removed all the displays because on the back edge of these displays it looks shiny in the video but it's actually they're they're quite pale some of these even have uh, some of this gunk in them oh this was clever um, a clever way to cover it what do you think Walter clever very nice <laughs> we'll different. show you how nice these look when we're done now look at the difference after we've used a fiberglass eraser on that now it's truly bright and shiny now we got all four of them and the display panel finished all right now we have new 44 bulbs in all these spots here and uh, Walter's going to put the appropriate LED lighting in the back that will match up with the back glass. well here's the end result the displays are all nice and bright but we're just not sure what Steven is going to be able to do with this glass. No. But the game is coming along and we're in the final stages of this puppy. Well, it's done. And boy, what a difference. I want to show you. Look, look at how nice this machine came up. We've got it all finished here. Uh, it's a beauty. Uh, the back glass, we looked everywhere. Nobody has a new one anywhere. Not even uh, Steve at Mayfair Amusement. So um, he spent quite a bit of time touching up this glass to match up the colors. My goodness, hours and hours to get this painted. Now look over here. You'll see how we color coordinated the colors to match up with the back glass by closing and opening the door to try to make it look as good as it can. With the lights out, it does look very nice. Uh, maybe a new glass can be located finally. Oh, we, uh, you see how bright the displays are. Everything's up nice and bright. Uh, on those back here, we have a brand new Rotten Dog Amusements power supply. Uh, I must have purchased, I guess, 75 to 100 of these, and I've never had one fail. Great update. Uh, for your game to give your logic board nice quality voltages uh, logic board we did have to change a couple of chips we had some problems but we got that all running we got this area cleaned up we had just a little bit of battery acid but that's been fixed a lithium battery and a blocking diode uh, we also here on the board we had a couple transistors out uh, we changed those now everything there is running well um, while I close this look at the side art just look and how beautiful it's got a beautiful color sheen to it as you can see Stephen just went all out on this baby we have a lot more time in this than we thought we would but the customer really wanted to get his game back normally let's give the game a shot here uh, 
converter wheel works really good now. Now that we've taken it apart and cleaned it, we don't have the guy, the game angled real well here. But every time you roll through a green lane, it spins the uh, uh, the wheel. And you'll notice when you hit, depending on which number, I let the three because the three was up. The two here, of course, is already there, and then the one. So I got the three here, uh, and I get two times my bonus. So. I get three times my bonus if I get these three threes, these three twos, or this. Very clever. And the other nice thing is, is if you go through this lane, you get your bowl. Too. If you hit it hard enough, it goes all the way up. If you just loop that baby around, you get a chance to shoot it again. Really clever programming on that. Or, or planning, I should say. Not programming, not, not programming, but planning. Uh, the drop targets uh, come up nice and, uh, and sturdy. And, uh, uh, oh, you know what? Do you hear the sound? All the Gottliebs of this era, I guess there's maybe seven or eight machines, by simply flipping the switches on the soundboard, right in C, right back here, right there, you can change the sound to a whole different sound. How about that? I'll bet some of you never knew that. But there are certain games that do that. There are little switches there. And you'll hear my free play knock. There's the knock. Didn't hear much of it, but that's really neat. I do prefer the, um, the uh, sound of this. I prefer that. But I thought it was a really nice idea that Gottlieb did. We're talking about 1978 and 79. So it was pretty clever thinking back then. But we do overhauls on your game. Uh, we get people buying them, let's say on eBay, and having them shipped directly to us. So we can overhaul your pinball machine too. Call us up, tell us the name of the game, uh, get it shipped out to us and we'll do it. Or we can pick it up if you're local. We can make the game look just like this. This specific overhaul was $1,200. Uh, included the new board, uh, the rubbers, the LEDs, all the new parts, that sort of thing. Just to give you an idea, a reference for parts and such. But we think the customer is going to be happy. And you saw it all. You saw the whole process. How about buying a real arcade game for your house? My daughter Tammy will show you all about it. Have you ever thought of owning your own video arcade game? Well, come to TNT Amusements. We've got plenty of them. We have a hundred different machines for sale in our Southampton PA showroom. Where can you find classics like Galaxian and Mortal Kombat? Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Stargate. Oh, and we have Pinball. If you get tired of your game, we guarantee you generous trade-in credit. How about buying your very own shuffle bowling alley? Woo! Oh, I love touchscreen games. very own Butler jukebox that holds 500 CDs. It's electric. And all of our machines come with TNT Amusement's exclusive Find Your Service Plan. Go to our website for prices and more info, tntamusements.com. We're in the yellow pages under amusement.